point out that all three cities that we have talked about, um, all three mayors are, quote, progressive Democrats. That's what they're touted as, right? Um, I can't remember if Garcetti in L.A. is a Democrat or not. If somebody knows, if somebody has confirmation about that, uh, leave it in the comments. But Bill Peduto, same thing. He's touted as a progressive. Uh, he is not. He is a neoliberal hack. And uh, if he were progressive, he would have put a housing first plan in place. He would have defunded the police and he would have added more money into social services and social programs to help people. He would have uh, put a UBI in place. But instead, his statement for a UBI was we need to means test a means test in order to know whether the means test will work in order for us to means test to see if UBI will be something applicable for us to consider and make a task force out of. Uh, and 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 runs run another means test in order to make sure that the task force is uh, is testable. That was his answer to how come we don't try UBI in Pittsburgh. So, yeah, not a fucking progressive. He's just a, a corporate Democrat. He's a fucking shill that's making people's lives a lot worse. Garcetti, same thing. I've talked to Ron about uh, for Garcetti, and I can tell you that uh, there's not a lot of love for that man. <laughs> and then you got Jacob Fry, the same man that to, to a Black Lives Matter protester said that he refuses to defund the police <laughs> and then got fucking laughed out of the protest. Had to do the sad Bruce Banner walk as thousands of people chanted, go home, Jacob, go home, go home, Jacob, go home. It took him how uh, what was it, almost like a week to realize that Derek Chauvin had fucking murdered George Floyd in front of everybody. A video that went viral and re-sparked the civil rights movement for my generation. This, and he's touted as progressive. And the first thing he did, oh, well, he fired those cops. Well, that's something. I wouldn't say that 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 dons him the cap of progressive or siding with the people. I would say that dons him the cap of you did the bare fucking minimum you should have. Oh, a cop knowingly murdered somebody on film and while he was being filmed, he was being a dick to the people that were filming as this man died beneath his knee it took you a week what did you have internet problems did you not have a fucking smartphone were you in the mountains Jacob same thing fucking Peduto people outside his house protesting he comes out does a photo op and then the cops violently attack the protesters Said zip zilch nothing about it. How the fuck do you sleep at night? How do any of these fucks sleep at night? What Does your consciousness leak out of your body in a dark fluid that you then collect into a jar and you keep in the basement so that it can never come and reintegrate itself with your body again? You fucking sci-fi villain. If, if you know, this is going to June, uh, Holly pointed that out in the stream. They have moratoriums till June. That doesn't end the massive amount of debt people have uh, collected over the course of the last few years. That doesn't end that. Excuse me. It will create a whole new homeless population. And... Uh, possibly increase COVID rates because they don't have um, they don't have the means to socially distance. They don't have PPEs. You know, they're not getting masks and such. Uh, unless they're getting donated, unless they're getting donated the masks in communities that they have built for themselves, encampments that they've built for themselves, partnering with mutual aid networks. But perhaps this is why they're um, ramping up 
the narrative around the the vaccine. And look, I know we've we've discussed that a, a lot, and I'm not going to make a decision for you whether you should or shouldn't take the vaccine. My my thought is I would rather take the vaccine than to get COVID nineteen. Um, but I you know they're trying. I think they're trying to ramp up this vaccine, which they haven't confirmed whether it prevents the virus or not. What they have confirmed is that it, it will prevent the symptoms from the virus, which means that you can still spread it if if you if you know if you if you get the virus, if you if you actively are shedding the virus, you can still spread it around. They haven't confirmed whether it stops the actual spread of the virus itself, but it does spread stop the symptoms that you can get from the virus. That's that's sort of all they've really said about it. But if there's going to be a bunch of much more people on the streets without the access to masks, social distancing, safety protocols and stuff like that, they need them all vaccinated so that when they're out in the streets, they're not spreading this virus to a point where people can't breathe and they're going to take up space in hospitals. Maybe that's why they're pushing it so that they can push people out the door and they can come in and gentrify a bunch of these neighborhoods so that more rich people have, you know, more fucking strip malls they can go and flaunt their money and pretend like the world is perfect, but it's only mildly perfect for you. Choosing profits has manufactured a greater crisis within the pandemic. That's what it's done nonstop. That's all it's really done. And I can tell you, uh, I, I want to end this by by pointing out two stories about how, um, you know how how people look at homeless folks. There, uh, there are two. When I was around comedians, who for the most part very loving, wonderful people. Uh, when I when I was in doing a lot more improv, there was a theater I would go to uh, and I was performing on a house team and there's an alley you could go behind. And, you know, we would hang out and bullshit. We do little improv games and things of that side. That's that sort just to warm up and stuff. One of these days we were in a circle and there was a uh, an older black man came in very distraught and nobody would give him time of day because they all thought he was just a, a, a random homeless vagabond and. He had these papers in his hand and he had been clearly discharged from the hospital and people kind of ignored him. So I just took him aside and I was like, hey, what's what's going on? You know, they're doing their thing. What's up? What's what, what's you know, you seem very distraught. So he told me his daughter's in the hospital. He's in the hospital. They have all these bills. They can't afford it if they if they have to pay these bills, then they're going to lose their house. They're going to, you know. And he doesn't have a lot of money. He his his work isn't giving him time off. So you know, I turned around and I was like, "All right, none of these people are even fucking paying attention." And these are people that are far more financially well off than I was, right? I, I like some of these uh, lawyers, IT techs, where they they work in in jobs where they could uh, they had expendable income and, and so on and so forth, right? So I went in. And I was like, hang tight here. Let me go and grab stuff out of my wallet because we didn't have our wallets on. So I went in, grabbed my wallet. I grabbed him a bottle of water, handed that to him, handed him like, I, it wasn't even that much. I think it was like five or 10 bucks, right? I didn't even have that much money on me. And he was like so appreciative. And I was like, I knew like what I gave him wasn't enough, but it was something to help, right? Like if, if, People can see that somebody else has given this person money. Maybe they'll they'll be like, okay, I'll let go of all of this bullshit narrative surrounding homeless people and panhandlers that I've heard uh, time and time again from the quote unquote empathetic politicians. Uh, and maybe I'll help them out. Right. But everybody else ignored it. And then they all kind of uh, quietly chastised me for it. But whatever, I would rather be quietly chastised by a bunch of, you know, liberals that have expendable money but don't decide to help the people in need than not help the people in need. It was in Knoxville, right? And this is this is the type of shit that people be like, well, you're poor and you don't have money and eventually you might end up being homeless. And it's like, yeah, well, if I end up being homeless, hopefully this person, when they do have money or if I run to them on the street, will be willing to help me out.
And that's the, the circle of life, I suppose. Walking around Knoxville was a festival. So there was a bunch of comics from different parts of the country. And I was actually with my buddy, Will Spotted Bear, who's a, a, a fantastic comedian uh, that I miss very much. <laughs> uh, I love Will. He's actually, I think he's in, Min in Minneapolis uh, or maybe in Minneapolis. He's in that region, Northern Plains region. But we were in Knoxville walking around. We just had lunch. We we're, you know, and we're waiting to till the next show that we get to go watch and then go and perform on our own show. So we're walking around. And again, same thing This like, you know, middle-aged black woman comes up in tears, showing me her hospital release papers and asking to, you know, can I get some help? I'm, I'm really stuck. Da -da 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 -da. Have the papers with the dates and the signatures and all that. Uh, two of the comics, there are four of us, two of them, as this woman is speaking to them, walks away from her. I sat and listened and then Will pulls out his wallet and goes, I literally don't have any cash on me. Uh, and, and then he was like, but if you want, I can buy you some food. I have a credit card. Da, da, da. Clearly this woman was stewed in duress to eat. I had a couple bucks. I gave her what I had in my wallet. Again, it wasn't a lot. It might've been like five bucks, right? She thanked me and I wished her good luck. You know, please be safe. Da, da, da. Left. And then the two comics, we caught up with them. They go, wow, that was really nice. Like, I can't believe you did that. What if she was lying? What if? And I was like, I don't know. Maybe she was, maybe she wasn't, but she really looked like she needed help. She had the paperwork. She was like, you, you don't feign that kind of emotion. Uh, you know, but this is how we look at it. Wow, really? And then, and then we make fun of the people that do help, right? I've been chastised and attacked for helping homeless people all my life, all my life. But if we're not going to, you know, I have a little bit more than they do right now. And if we're not going to fucking help them out, who is? Clearly, it's not the government. They're making a choice by displacing the homeless. There's plenty of empty homes around the country that you can create a program that houses homeless people and gets them the services they need. You can do that. They don't have that, so they have to go to a different option, which is creating these encampments and a community around the encampment that is powered from within with the help of mutual aid. That's it. And we have to be a part of that mutual aid. Shane, uh, when are we going to means test all the billionaires receiving co corporate welfare? Yes, I would love to means test that. I would love to means test that. Exactly. <laughs> um, Holly's is regard to the, the COVID even so don't let your guard down. No, yeah, we're definitely not letting our guard down. We're definitely not letting our guard down. Um, you know, we're still, we're still being rather safe. And it's part of the reason why I haven't really looked into booking or anything. You know, we're 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 getting close to where we can get our vaccines in Pennsylvania as well. Um, but we're not letting our guard down for sure. For sure. Yeah. Uh so um but you know, safety first. I'm I'm even uncomfortable with like some of the local shows right now. It's like I'm just not comfortable doing them. And even after I'm vaccinated, I might still be a little iffy, but I'll be slightly more comfortable. Uh, but we're we're still like super 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 careful so uh yeah uh pop in over to <laughs> uh fred says uh, so so really just establishment democrats yeah that's what these people are these folks these folks that are in these cities are just establishment democrats they're not um they're not anybody progressive and and, and really we shouldn't be believing that lie anyway we shouldn't be believing that lie anyway uh Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this content, uh, please make sure that you hit the like button, hit the share button, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel, whether it's on Rockfin, YouTube, or Facebook, especially Facebook and YouTube. 
they often uncensor people, uh, un unsubscribe people, and they censor this content. So if you want to keep up to date, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that bell button so you get notifications of when I'm putting up new videos and when I am going live. I usually go live uh, on uh, Fridays and on Mondays. Uh, and if you want more information about a, a bunch of the other stuff that I do, uh, whether it's my Forkful of Noodles podcast, the Taboo Table Talk interview podcast, or the Road Reflections live streams, uh, make sure you go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A dot -H -H com. There you'll find past episodes of, uh, of various shows that I, uh, that I do, as well as information about when I'll be performing live virtual comedy shows, the Forkful of Noodles live virtual comedy shows. Uh, the dates and tickets will be available directly on my website. But if you're also on financial stable ground, you can help contribute to the show financially by making a one-time donation or becoming a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets and bonus content. You can go to krishmohanhaha.com slash donate to, to make any kind of financial contributions. But if you can't, it's not a necessity. Most of my stuff is available for free and for everybody to enjoy. So again, go to krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A. -H 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 -A, and I hope to see you at the next video.